Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Ice Lakes. And I thought that I would come by today and see if we can't find a couple of the new, at least one of the new species, if nothing else. Uh, these, I've already found the Chinese uh, perch, but we are going to be looking for either the muscalinge or the walleye. And they aren't in the new lakes that have been added, the new lakes being rice terraces and dam. So we're going to be going to go to Gold Rush. Ice Lakes I don't like as well. So Gold Rush, we do know that they are here as it's listed them near the end. Apparently also common carp have been added to this. That I didn't know, so that's kind of cool. But they do not have the uh, Chinese perch, just regular perch. So let's come in here and let's see what we've got in here, guys. Let's take a look. We'll do some free fishing because it'll just work a little bit better that way now let's see for walleye I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna do spring and we're gonna do evening evening in the spring evening in the spring we'll go ahead and get this started now if things hold true they usually like it a little bit dark they like the weather usually pretty bad the rainier the better let me go ahead and see where their depths and they also like it deep so we're going to go where the holes are deep I might start up here I'm not sure you start here or right here where it goes into it so let's go check those out Almost there. Let's see. I want to get right. Well, I hit the wrong button, but we'll try it here for a minute. I meant to hit the W to keep walking. Instead, I hit the drill button. Oh, well. That's all right. Let's see here, guys. We are going to need a bigger rod. We lure-wise, let's see. What will we need for walleye? That's an all-new, all-new one. This one I've got is apparently good for walleye, the beast. So that will work. What about the hook? Chinese perch. Nope. 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 And truthfully, there may not be one that works. Well, let's go ahead with this one because at least it does the muscalinge. So the golden meteor. And let's see what kind of baits we have here. Always want to check all these out. See, that's musculinge and Chinese perch. Not seeing anything that the muskies, I mean the um, walleyes go for. So we're just going to go with the striped delicacy. Alright, let's scoop her out. Throw a little bit in. And then give it a shot. We're just going to do this for a little bit here. And then we're going to move to the deeper water. Since that's where I was headed anyway. But I tell you, there have been a number of times when I've made a mistake. And drilled where I didn't want to. And I end up doing much better than where I wanted to go. So, eh, we'll just give it a shot. For some reason, ice looks chunkier this time. Maybe it's because it's spring. 
breaks up in bigger chunks. At least it doesn't, whoa, freeze up quite so quick. Xander. Now understand, Xander is in the same family as the walleye. There's all kinds of species in the walleye family. Obviously, we know the Xander, we know the walleye. Sauger is what we have around here where in the Ohio River. A lot of people call them jack salmon or skipjack, but they're actually sauger. They look much like a smaller version of the walleye. They got the teeth and everything. And perch, yellow perch, Chinese perch, they're all in that family as well. But the walleye can get very, very big. I'm not sure what their maximum size is, but I've seen some guys holding some pretty massive fish before. Let's see what we got here, guys. Now that's a decent Xander. But Xander is not what we're after. We are after walleye. We're, so we're getting, we're close. But let's get out to the deeper water. Maybe the Xander are just the food for the walleye here. Let me make sure I'm in the deep water there. Yeah, I am. be great if I could catch both of them in one episode but I don't think that's going to be that easy and I have a feeling musclings are going to be a bit on the tough side to catch or pike are easy oh, I forgot to put some lure in there Whoa, okay. Okay, this is a decent sized fish. Least uh, not over ten pounds, but close to it, if nothing else. Holy crap, I caught a muskie. Awesome. Right off the bat, guys, I caught a muskie. Yes, 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 yes. Muscalange. I wish I could get a, another shot of him up in the air. That was pretty darn awesome. All right. Well, that uh, has just made my episode, I'll tell you that. But I bet you that's the only one I get. <laughs> probably like the pike. There's only one per hole, you know? I'll be darned. There's still something down there. Another one. A little bitty one. <laughs> Isn't he cute? Well, maybe that's not like the pike. 
They are definitely in the deep water though. Now I'm kind of surprised, but this is freezing up a lot faster than you would think at 14 degrees Fahrenheit. There's a walleye. Looks like like a Xander, doesn't it, guys? Well, we got them both. He's a tiny one. But I was right about where they'd be. I love doing that. Boing. Bow. Bow. <laughs> Alright. Let's try one more and then we'll move to the other end where it's deeper. I wish I could catch one when it's still up in the air because that would make a great picture. Great thumbnail. That was pretty darned awesome, guys. All right. This one isn't too bad. It's not as big as that last one, but... And he's a little small, but I wanted to at least get a picture. Alright, let's see. I know we're catching them, but let's go see if we can catch another one over here in this deep area. Right over here. Maybe we can catch a really big one. I think I have might have the timing right too. When I've played other fishing games, I used to always catch them right before dark or on rainy days. And since we don't have rain here. Next best thing. Uh, this isn't very big. I mean, it's not dinky, but it's not big either. Let's see what it is. It is a bluegill. Yeehaw. <laughs> something a little bit bigger than a panfish. That's better. Another musky. Nothing close to as big as what I got the first time around, but... I am hoping for a big old yank on there and get like a 30 pound one. We are getting the bites.
Now there's just a regular pike. Probably the only one we'll get. See how close they look. They, they look so similar. Same family again. As you well know. Same family. Got pike, pickerel, musculange. Lots of different type of pickerels. Whoa, okay, okay, that was a big bite. I'm going to have my camera ready for this one. Going to have my camera at the ready. There we go. Nice pick. Wasn't my biggest, but he was, he made a nice snapshot. Well, these guys are a lot of fun, guys. You need to come here and give it a try. Now, I wonder if the pike only, if they count for those competitions. You know, it's, whoa, it'd be kind of interesting to find out. Yeah, because, like, for sunfish, perch, perch and bluegill, and, and, uh, I'm going to go ahead and move one more time. I want to go to that deep spot over here at the other side of the lake. After that, I think we'll call this an episode, but I think it's been a very successful episode. Now, we only got one walleye. So I'm a little determined to get at least one more of those. I'd love to get a big one, but I am seriously happy about the musculinch situation. But I figure it would be a good thing to try at the deepest point. See if there's anything worthwhile down here. But this lure is really good, guys. They obviously seriously, seriously like it, and something else just bit at it pretty hard. So... Haven't beaten my record of 10 pounds, but we'll see how close we get on this one. Not bad. Let's try one more here. I think we'll call this an episode. Okay, this is either a small muskie or something completely different. Might be a walleye. I don't know. We'll see. That's a little musky. <laughs> eh, one more, one more time, right, guys? Come on, one more time. One more time. We know there's a big one down there. Big old Fred, the musculange. He's down there hanging out. He wants to come up and say hi. Well, this might be him, guys. Wow, this is a big one. This is a big one, guys. This might be bigger than that 10-pounder. I don't know yet, but he's pretty, he's pretty good size.
It's a pike. That's a big pike. So and on that note, I think that's a good way to end this episode, guys. Let's go see what we did money-wise here. We caught a whole bunch of muskies. We got a whole some pike. We got a couple of bluegill. Over, over and all and all and all, I think we did very well. I'm gonna get up here and see how well these guys pay. Four oh nine, not bad. There we go, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed that episode, guys. It actually went much better than I expected. Much better. Anyway, guys, please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll be back with another episode of Ice Lakes. And always remember, guys, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. And I do want to let you guys know, I want to thank you for all your support through all the things I've been going through for the past few weeks. My surgery is over. I'm doing a lot better. And I'm getting better every day. But I want to thank you so much for your, your support and for all your kind words. But anyway, guys... Take it easy. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.